So we're now going to look at protecting pages for subscribed users. And we're also going to look at creating another filter for those who are on the big plan rather than those that are just on the small plan. So I'm going to create a new group down here because we want to separate this from the subscribed group here. We don't want to include uh, this because that's under the subscription prefix. So down here, we're going to create an entirely new group. And before this, we want to check that the user is successfully subscribed. So if that's the case, we have, let's say, a protected page here. And in this case, I'm just going to add just some silly information here. And we're just going to say echo subscribed only. And we can create another one here called big. And we'll just say big only. And we can even go as far as creating a new group here. Before this, we want the user to be on the big plan. So what we can now do is put this inside of here. And there we go. So just to recap, we have an entirely new group here because we want to keep it away from the subscription prefix. These could be areas that are just, you know, premium content, things like that. So we have a root here, which is protected, which is for subscribe users only. We've got a area where you need to be on the big plan, but we don't have this filter set up. So under filters, let's create this now. Let's just copy and paste this. So we're going to call this plan.big and we're going to say if auth check and we want to say if the user is not on a specific plan and we can use uh, the on plan method provided up to us by uh, Laravel cashier to do this. So we say on plan and then we choose the plan. In this case, I'm just going to say big. So now if that's not the case, we're going to return to, uh, well, we can return to subscription, I guess. And we're going to say with notice you need to be on the big plan to access that. So let's take a look at this, make sure we've not done anything wrong. So I'm going to say public protected. And there we go. That's for subscribed users only. Now I'm going to try and access big. Remember, I'm on the little plan. So that's taking me back to there to say you need to be on the big plan. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to head over to my database and I'm just going to get rid of all this information. Uh, so I'm going to set Stripe active to zero. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to get rid of that. So almost like we're starting out afresh. So under here now, I will not be subscribed. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to join and I'm going to choose to 4242 maybe. and I'm going to uh, sign up to the large plan. In fact, just before this, let's try and access protected and you'll see, there we go. You need to be subscribed to do that. So we're not subscribed at the moment. We can't access that protected area. Now I'm gonna sign up for the large plan. There we go. So we're now subscribed. We can check that just under here. There we go, we're on the large plan and we'll need to modify this to large and this to large as well, just my mistake, and this to large as well, like so, and we'll just call this large, and we'll call this large. Okay, so let's now check that that works. So we're gonna say public large, and there we go. We now have access to that because we are on the large plan, brilliant. Now we do have a slight problem here because if, for example, we were to sign out and access the large plan again or the large URL again, you'll see that we've got a problem. So let's do an auth logout and we'll see what happens here. And there we go. So although if we were to return to the subscription page, we get an error because obviously we're not um, not subscribed and we're trying to call this on a uh, non-object, you'd have to go ahead and do the work to check if the user was logged in before this. So we haven't actually covered that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. We've got a problem because a user can access protected areas and particularly areas where you have to pay for the larger option. 
So how can we actually combat this? Well, under our roots, what we can actually do is we can go ahead and modify this to say, before we do any of this, we want to be signed in. And we have filters for this already. So you can see that we've got auth just here. So if I was to add the auth filter just into here, you can see that when we're trying to access this, we need to be signed in as well. So let's just test this out. We go ahead and change this back to signing us in and we'll choose the large option here. And because we're already on the large plan, we get access to this and we also get access to the normal protected area. And of course, the authentication protection doesn't just stop there. You are going to need to protect all of this as well, because obviously a user can't purchase a subscription if they're not already signed in. So you could either wrap this in an entire group just using auth, or in this case, you could simply just add this to the prefix subscription. So we could say here, before auth, and that would protect all of this as well. So now a user can has to be signed in before they even access this subscription page. So you could think of this subscription page as some kind of account area where only signed in users can visit. I guess it's up to you to define how this works for your application, but just be careful you don't fall into any of the traps of not defining this and uh, mess things up. So as well as allowing us to sign in now, we've also given the ability to access specific areas depending on what plan we've chosen. 